what was it like? It seemed like you never got completely comfortable out there, and you were getting hit a lot, uh, a lot, certainly a lot more than last week. So, just what was it like being out there on, tonight with that defense coming at you? It was just frustrating because I mean, we knew that we could. You know, like the first drive, you know, we saw us go down the field, and that was just the most disappointing part that we couldn't get it done the rest of the game. And I wouldn't put it on one, one body of, you know, I, I want to put it on our offensive line. I want to put on, I'd put it on me. If really anything, I'm not going to put it on anybody else. So. I mean, it was just a tough loss, but we'll, we'll bounce back. Were you surprised at all by the, the play calling? I mean, it, I think at one point, 37 of 51 plays they called were passes, and is that just was that the game plan all along? You felt yeah, like that was there. You uh, could. We practiced a lot of passes this week, you know, and we felt like we could, you know, get get the job done, and uh, I mean, worked out okay sometimes, but you saw we struggled a little bit. And like I said, I'll shit, I'll put that on me. I got to throw the ball, you know. Yeah. Drew Mac McElwain said after the game that you know they were disguising a lot of coverages when you guys had those kind of run pass options to, mm-hmm. to force you to throw the ball more. Is that kind of what you saw out there? Were they really disguising things and confusing you? Out yeah, there? we knew that most of the time they you know they might start out in, in one thing and you know change to another, and that's something I had to keep my head on. And I mean it was tough. That's the first time I've played against a, you know a true defense like that. You know, high school we just base three, base four, base two. And we're starting to roll the things, and I mean South Carolina rolled through things too. And we we did just fine, so it was just pretty much execution today. How much are you on the page with all your receivers when it comes to option routes, things down the field? Things. Yeah, I mean, it's a work in progress, obviously. There's a couple of times that, you know, they're inside release, and I thought they were going to outside. You know, we outside release, so that they are going to inside. And, you know, that's just me, you know, learning a little bit more each week, you know, and that's yeah. one thing we'll be able to focus on and get big this week and hit some deep balls next week. Do you think that surprising that you had 24 points against South Carolina wound up craving? A little surprised that you had Randall Bloodborne? I mean, yeah, especially with the way we started. In that first that first drive, you know, we, two long passes just kind of got us down the field. It was pretty, I mean, generally it was pretty easy, you know, and that's what I thought it'd be the rest of the game. And kind of changed things up, you know. We tried to adapt and just couldn't execute. When was the last time you had a feeling like this? <sighs> Probably losing to Blue Springs twice in one year. Yeah. That senior, yeah. senior year. Yeah. Two yeah. in the interceptions. Did you know right away what your mistake was, or how much you kind of figure out? Yeah, yeah. The the pick six was definitely. A, Big play in the game. Obviously, hats off to our defense for only holding 14 points. Put seven on me, obviously. Um, no, nah, they played. They played two man, which is something normally don't show to us. You know, it's more four, three to five. But you know, I should have known that, and I thought you know I could get it in there, and I should play the other side. So you, you saw the you saw the defender. You thought you could get it by him. Just... Yeah, I thought I could get it by him. I just didn't necessarily think they'd be playing two man. Like I said, it's not one of their most popular coverages, but. Is, are you are you staring down receivers sometimes, or do you feel like you're you need to work on that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That was one of the main points this week. We knew that their defense yeah. will fly with my eyes, and I feel like sometimes I did it all right. You know, like the one I ripped down the seam to Nate, I had yeah. to take off the safety a little bit. But then other times, I you know maybe could have done a little better. Is that just part of the growing process for you? Yeah, definitely part of the growing process. But you know, the the bad part about it is you know I expect that out of me right now. Yeah. You know, and that's just the disappointing part. You know beat myself up because, you know, I truly think that I can make every throw on the field when I need to and however I need to, which is just the disappointing part, obviously. I mean, you had to know that adversity was coming at some point. Mm-hmm. Did, did it seem like things had been coming pretty easy for you up to this point? or I guess so. I mean, nothing in nothing in college football is pretty easy. Yeah. It's all real stressful, obviously. You know, you just got the whole, shoot, you're going to win the game pretty much if you're going to go down the field, and that starts with me, obviously, and the offensive line, obviously, everyone. But... I, it was tough. It was just disappointing on, on my half. Drew, can you can you identify uh, what's this offense's identity? What can you guys lean on right now? Our seniors, our seniors. Evan did an extraordinary job tonight. You know, trying to get us trying to get us going. You know, we went out there with a full mindset. You know, this is gonna be the drive. This is gonna be the drive. It just didn't happen. What, what worked? You probably answered this, but what worked on the opening drive that didn't happen? Tonight? Yeah, I mean, we. Uh, those plays that we ran, we really prepped hard them during the week, and you know they adapted to those plays pretty quickly. And uh, we, you know, we try to give something else out of it. But like you said earlier, they're disguising coverages, and they do a pretty good job out of it. Hats off to that defense.